Hey guys, it's coffee time. It's another thank you coffee time. What you think about that? Okay, I've got our song. It's all queued up. I'm gonna turn it up. Ready? That song is Hot Stuff by Donna Summer because it was stuck in my head, so I decided to play it. And I also liked the fact that the title has the word stuff in it. It all worked out. Normally I have like a method where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do all the tiny ones first, and I'll move on to the medium ones, and I'll do the big ones, and then I'll do the posters. And this time, because I stacked them up there really precariously, I was like, I'm gonna do the ones that look like they might fall first, and then we'll move on from there. So for those of you who have never been with us on a TY video before, it's basically where I open everything that's been sent to my P.O. box and just make sure that whoever sent it to me gets a thank you. Is there no note? Is there no letter? <gasps> it's a Jet Set Radio sweatshirt. See, it says Jet Set Radio on the front and then on the back. Oh, it's so cool! It doesn't say anywhere who this was from, but thank you so, so much! I'm actually, I'm going to be in New York for the weekend coming up here, and I'm totally going to wear this because apparently it's cold. Uh-oh, packing peanuts. Don't tell Sherlock Cat. Okay, brought in a bag so that I can displace some of these into a new container so that they won't go everywhere and the cat won't try to eat them. They look, look at these. They look kind of like Cheetos. The cat's so confused. Dear Dodger, I was at Disneyland last week when I saw this mug. I'm not much of a coffee drinker myself, so I figured you would like it. I figure, what the heck? Enjoy, Ben. Judge me by my size, do you? Poor Yoda can't go on the ride. Oh, Yoda, I feel you. Ben is also the one who sent me a sunset picture forever ago that was on my wall for a really long time. Um, that's actually one of the photos that I have set aside to possibly frame in the future. So that's where it's been. That's why it's not up right now. Um, there are specific pictures and things that the cat has really tried to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to take care of those pieces that I don't want to get wrecked. Thank you so much, Ben. You're the best. Man, doing the Yoda voice wreaks havoc on my throat. Wow. Hey, Dodger, I just wanted to say how much I love your shows and how awesome Sherlock Cat is. Oh, Sherlock Cat is. Somebody said hello and that you're awesome. On the back is a hypercube I drew for you. Also, I hope you like the posters from Tony. P.S. One of the posters is for Ro. I'll let y'all decide whose is whose. Uh, oh man, they're My Little Pony posters. Are you guys ready for this? Here's the first one. That has a pretty rockin' looking rainbow dash, I'm not gonna lie. And then here's the other one. I'm gonna take the one with the rainbow dash. She doesn't get any say in this. Thank you so much, Tony. I will be sure to tell her hi and that you sent her the fantastic poster. <laughs> Hold on, I have to open it up, but I can see what it is. Oh, this is funny. So if you guys remember the coffee episode where I was like, how are you supposed to light a candle without putting your hand all the way in there? And everybody was like, obviously you use a barbecue lighter. <laughs> I'm expecting to get a lot of these because so many of you guys were like, really? Have you never seen Dodger? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Sog, specialty knives and tools. Oh man, this has so many things on. I don't even. I don't even know where to begin. On and off buttons. There are unlock buttons. There's so many things. How do you do? How do you do stuff? I'm gonna put this back in here and then read the instructions later so that I don't hurt myself. It looks like these were both from Tim. So thank you so much, Tim. I will be sure to not get soot all over my hand from here on out, and that's kind of a nice feeling. Hi there, Jossum. First time I saw you was back when Total Biscuit told me to watch the TGS podcast, and I've been creeping on your show ever since. Yes. Since you have given me so much fun, I thought I would send you some stuff. First off, there's a shark fin ice cube tray, so you can make some jawsome ice cubes. Get it? That is so great. It makes it so that the ice cubes look like little shark fin. Okay, you got it. Secondly, there's a little wooden puzzle. See if you can arrange the pieces into a T or an arrow like those shown on the cover. After you solved it, it is still fun to tease your guests and roommates with it. The book is a so-called game book where you have to find your own way through the story like a single player D&D game. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, that sounds great. Please keep on making your videos for a very long time. When you stop, there will be nothing else for us to watch since there is only one Dodger. Best regards, Thomas. That is the sweetest thing ever. Beneath Nightmare Castle. I guess this is the book. This is the, the adventure book. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, oh, I can't wait. I am going 
to tell Jesse all about it and he's gonna be so jelly. And here's the wooden puzzle. Should I just attempt it now? Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, this is impossible. Okay, I'm gonna figure out the puzzle later because this, this is not, this isn't happening. But I did get lots of candy, guys. I got Turkish fever again, thank goodness. I got some Werther's Originals and some Skipper Mix, whatever that is. I don't know what these are, but the other day I was just saying that I need to buy myself a pipe so that when I'm pretending to be Sherlock, I can truly complete the outfit. And now I apparently just have candy pipes and that's good enough for me. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much, Thomas. And oh, that was so, the last, the last line it got me. I felt all, all, oh, the feels. So wait, backtracking. Tim, the one who got me this, I just realized that there's a note on the receipt. It was folded so that I couldn't see it. But the note is, after your coffee, lamenting not keeping your grandpa's combi tool, I know exactly what to get you for Christmas. Sadly, I couldn't find one like you described, but this should do, I hope. That's really sweet. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't think you guys will get to see it, but this was really hard to open the box to, so I'm excited to see what it is. Ooh, is there a note? Hi, Dodger. My name is Robert, and I have only recently started watching your shows. Yay! I really love your videos, and I've watched them a lot. I love your TY videos and all the mugs that your fans send you, so when I saw this one, I couldn't resist getting it for you. I bought one for myself, too. I really hope you don't have this mug yet, because when I saw it, I instantly thought of you. I also included an album from one of my favorite bands, Muse. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy the real album since it just came out a few days ago, and I can't find it anywhere. So I burned you a copy onto a CD. Your fan, Robert. Thank you! I love Muse, by the way. Just, <laughs> just to let you know that I will deeply enjoy that CD. This is pretty big, so I'm wondering what sort of mug adventure you're sending me on. Of all the layers, guys. We're almost through, guys. We're almost through all the layers. Yay! Oh, I do feel bad that I already had this one. I'm so sorry. Um, but you know what's great is that there is a person in my house that will go unnamed who was really jelly of this mug. So now I can be like, behold, we have two. Thank you so much, Robert. I'm so sorry that I wound up owning that mug already, but like I said, it will be used. You know, I've made a lot of noise so far already. Kitty could not care less. He's just like, whatever. And this is one of those ones that opens up like this. And so if I were to open it up on my desk, it would just be like, ah, suddenly the camera is just boxed. So I'm gonna open it right here. For your ceiling fan collection from Helena in Sweden. That's so pretty. You never know, depending on the place that you're from, that name is always pronounced differently. So if I pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry. Recipe to get stronger hair. It's like you know me. One egg, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You have trouble with really fatty, greasy hair, remove the yolk from the egg. Mix the ingredients, apply in wet hair. If you forget and use too hot a water, dry the hair and brush the egg out. Use once a week and your hair will feel better. You can also add two to three drops of tea tree oil if you want to avoid dandruff. Huh, oh my goodness, this is so pretty, look at this. Hello. This is the coolest thing. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to read to you this last paragraph. It says, I wanted to find something for you, Jesse and TB, that you might like. And I was on a quest to find plop t-shirts. So I went to Cloetta's homepage. But at their fac, I sadly read that the only way in which you could get their promotional stuff was through their occasional campaigns in the stores. So I emailed them and told them what I wanted to do and asked if they could give me a heads up next time. Uh, next time they had a campaign, include in plop. I didn't expect a reply for weeks, but 15 minutes later, I had a reply saying that if I'd only emailed the sizes and an address, they would look through the storage room to see if there was something left from an older campaign, since they didn't plan another one for quite some time. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything smaller than large, but I thought you might prefer too big to none at all. And since I had this large box that I could fill with stuff, I included some candy made at a place quite close to where I grew up and a Swedish flag for your flag collection. There's also a gift for Roe that I found in there. So I will make sure that both of them get their gifts, but I am so excited to look at this Plop sweatshirt. This is the best thing ever. It says Team Plop and it is so comfortable. Oh my goodness. I got a tiny Swedish flag and some candies. This is so weird because just the other day I was talking with Jesse about how awesome it would be if we all had Plop shirts. And he was like, yeah, but you know, it's like impossible for us to get plop shirts. And so we would have to like do some sort of a parody on it, but then we would still have to contact the company and like, you know, it would be really hard, but that would be cool. And then this, I'm just, oh, I'm so 
happy, and I don't think that I can explain to you how comfortable this is. Thank you so much. I hope that you're doing better now, and don't worry about Jesse being spoiled on what his gift is, because, uh, he doesn't watch my videos. I don't think he watches my videos. I guess I'll find out. Okay, this one is from Think Geek and it's from Sinan in Istanbul. And it says, one up for Rose, some caffeine for Dodger and the meaning of life and everything else for Husky. Look at that, it's a little mushroom night light. It's so cute. All right, that goes in the row pile. On the list, it says utility towel as the thing that isn't a mug. So I'm gonna guess that this is for Mike, whatever it is. Oh man. And the glass caffeine mug comes back to me. That one has a small crack in it. It's like you guys are all psychic. Like you know when things go wrong. And I will of course make sure that my roomies get their gifts as well. Guys, it's a super scope, but it's for the Famicom. So it has the Japanese lettering on it. I'm so excited. There's no letter inside, but it looks like it might be from Cameron. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool, Cameron. You to you to best, you to you to best, you to you to best, you to you to best. Oh, guys, no! <laughs> Uncle Milton's giant ant farm, live ant habitat. And a copy of Animal Farm by George Orwell, the most terrifying book to ever exist. Actually, the book was fine. The movie scared me so bad when I was little. And by little, I mean like in middle school. <laughs> oh, I see. Don't want me to know who you are, huh? Understandable. I'm starting to believe that the ant jokes really won't ever die. Like, even if I live ant-free since 2030... I tried to make it rhyme and I wound up making it sound like I was literally going to be living in a sea of ants. You know, until 2030 and then I'll be ant-free! What is this? Idea pad tablet. What?! One of you guys literally sent me a tablet every time one of you sends me something that's really expensive, you don't include your name. And I think it's because you know that I would try to send it back. Thank you, whoever you are out in the ether, I appreciate it. But seriously, the rest of you, do not get me things this expensive. For realsies. It's not okay. I'll tell your mom and you'll be in so much trouble. So one of your favorite movies has been sitting in my room for five years. Oh yeah, Silent Hill. I love this movie. I maintain that it is one of the best video game to movie adaptations. And no, it's not because the acting was good because the acting is terrible. Oh no, you've sent me stuff before but I can't remember how to pronounce your name. Oh, I'm the worst. You know who you are and you are super lovely. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is from Joshel. I have so many friends that collect these but I've never owned any myself. These little pop bobbleheads. This one is Wreck-It Ralph. And this one is Vanellope. Look at how cute she is. I don't know how well you can see through all of the plasticness, but oh my gosh, she is so adorable. Oh, there's a note. Oh, there's a note. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dear Miss Lee, I enjoy your weekly videos. I've been a viewer for a couple of months since this summer and I have to say that you are a cool and awesome gal. Oh, thanks. Anyway, as the holidays are coming and you have stated your approval of Wreck-It Ralph, I've sent you Ralph and Vanellope to accompany you. By the way, do you think this Vanellope looks a little like Ro? It does. It's actually just a row doll. It's true. It's canon now. Anyway, I wanted to wish you happy holidays and I hope you enjoy Ralph and Vanellope and keep on trucking. Wishing you good luck on all future endeavors. I can't wait to see your episode of Tabletop to see if you kick Will Wheaton's ass. Will I? Thank you so much. I love them. They're probably going to join my other friends on the shelves, let's be honest. Ralph and Vanellope can get along with all of the little fox plushies. It'll be so cute. Hi, Dodger. I just wanted to say that it's been a privilege and a joy to watch your 2012 videos. I recall you mentioning once an interest in collecting pins, so I thought I would send you the enclosed Hobbit movie pin. Best wishes for 2013 from Tim. What? This looks so cool. I'm taking it out of the packaging first, though. I don't know how you got this, but I'm so excited to own it. Thank you, thank you, Tim. I need to put that somewhere where it will be safe. Specifically where the cat won't get it because he loves things that like make tink 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 noises. And so pretty much all of my pins have been victims of war. Isn't that right, kitty? You knock them all on the ground and then you hide them from me. I know you. Oh, what? This is so cute. French press, cappuccino, espresso, iced coffee. Look at those. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't know who you are, so I'm sad, but I appreciate the shirt. That is an awesome shirt. Dear Miss Lee, we're delighted to enclose the items listed below for your convenience. Should you have any questions? Oh, that's not from the actual person. How to draw and paint anatomy. Gesture sketching. What? This looks so cool. Look at this. Does this not look like the coolest thing you've ever seen? Render lifelike fabric on your moving figures. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to look at this. It's another case of whoever you are, you're awesome and thank you. That's the sort of stuff that I love looking at on like Tumblr. Oh, and DeviantArt. Oh, ah, another lighter. I knew it. Guys, I'm gonna wind up with so many lighters. I'm gonna be the lighter queen. Thanks for your business. Visit our store on stores.ebay.com slash good place to shop. That's three in a row where I have no idea who sent it to me, but you know what the beauty is about lighters? Is that once one of them runs out, I'll have another one. <laughs> what is this? Does this go with the tablet? It's like a holder for the tablet. Sorry, it has one of those weird like packaging smells where I'm like, is this gonna hurt me if I sniff this too much? Who are you, tablet person? Tell me. Mustaches? Oh my gosh, more mustaches. No, tell me I need the letter. Dear Dodger, I was shopping for coffee the other day when I saw this on sale. It was clearly a sign from above that I had to buy it for you. Oh yes. Oh man, the last time that I got a package of these, I like blasted through all of them within a day. The last TY, all of those. They were all used up and not sticky anymore within like a day, it was bad. So with this one, I'm not going to open it right now. I'm going to be frugal because otherwise I won't be able to control myself. Thank you, Thomas. I promise to wear these at very inappropriate times just for you. Customized Classics, The Adventures of Sherlock Cat. Originally published in the Strand Magazine between 1891 and 1892, this collection of stories was first published in the book form as The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and has been continuously reprinted ever since. Now Customized Classics brings a unique twist to this favorite with a personalized edition, The Adventures of Sherlock Cat. Follow Cat as he pursues criminals through the foggy London streets and solves the most impenetrable crimes with characteristic flair. God help us! Why does fate play such tricks with poor, helpless worms? I never hear of such a case as this that I do not think of Baxter's words and say, There but for the grace of God goes Sherlock Cat. No, but seriously, this is the best thing ever. And again, I have no idea who did this. There was a website like that that did it with romance novels where you would replace the names and then you would fill in eye color and hair color and then it would print you off a sample and if you were happy with it, then you could request the entire romance novels with those names. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. I used to draw up samples of like really, really raunchy ones and then send them to my friends that were that had their names placed into it. Oh, it was so much fun. Dear Dodger, given your love for the adorable Sherlock cat, this seemed appropriate. Your show is awesome. I hope you have a great holiday from John. Oh my gosh, it's another oatmeal thing. How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. The book. Oh God, look at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is how cats see themselves in the mirror. Well, unless you're my cat, then you think that it's another cat and you're scared. Thank you so much. As I've said, I love the oatmeal, so. That's going to be a treasured addition to my bookshelf. Dear Dodger, I know LA gets cold sometimes. Here, a thing to keep you warm and maybe even spare some dimes when the wind blows to a mighty storm. Sincerely, Marcus from Sweden. Got a little fox on it. Oh, oh guys, I never get sick of having fox hats. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Marcus. Is my outfit not? the best right now. If only I could put the Jet Set Radio sweatshirt over this sweatshirt, but I think I might just die. Hi, thank you for a great show. I have included a Skyrim map and two chapsticks. If you already have a Skyrim map, feel free to give it away. Hope you and Sherlock Cat have a great Christmas and an awesome new year. Hugs and best wishes from Carl. I do not have a Skyrim map. Oh man, look at this. This is so cool. I love fantasy maps. I think that they are so interesting and they always look so much cooler than our maps do. And then these, I guess, are the chapsticks. Oh, oh, thank you, Carl. I will try to get the creases out and put this up on my wall. And if not, I will definitely at the very least use it on something. Wink, wink. I don't know why I winked just then. That was super creepy of me. Okay, it looks like it's from Corin, but it's not wanting to come out, so we're gonna have to coax it, guys. The reason I know is because the receipt came out, but the actual poster didn't come. 
You get it. Oh my gosh, is this one of those posters where all of the words from one of the novels is written on it, but it turns into a picture? Because that would be the coolest thing ever. I think it's Hounds of Baskerville. I'm reading like small sections of it. But look at that. That is so cool. It's all words. It, the font is so tiny. I can't put this close enough where it would look anything like words to you guys, but... This is so cool, Corin. Thank you so much. Okay, last one for tonight. We'll do the rest tomorrow morning. Let's look at the receipt. Hi, Dodger. I've been depressed for ages now, but your videos and the TGS podcast cheer me up. Hope you like it. Thank you for being you from Riz. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that we helped you out, even if just a little bit. Oh, it's so perfect. It's the most perfectest thing that ever perfected. Thank you so much. I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. You guys are so amazing. We will do the rest of them tomorrow morning, and then uh, we'll be finished up. All right, we are back for some more TY action. It is the morning. I am feeling refreshed. I'm wearing the same sweatshirt because it's so comfortable. You ready to open things, kitty? You all excited? I'm excited. Hi, Dodger. I hope you like my mix of cool music. Some of these songs came from my favorite bands and shows. If you like it, give me a shout out from Del Manistry 90. There's also a rubber band gun that has my name written on it. Two manga books called I Love Halloween, but it's number two and number three. It's like you're testing me. I'm gonna have to go and get number one before I can read these. <sighs> you, you clever person. Oh, we have an actual letter. Okay, it says, Hi Dodger, my name is James. I've been a fan of yours since March of last year, and you're the first person I've ever written or sent anything through the mail. I would like to say thanks for making me laugh and kind of cried through your videos. I laugh because you have fun from your vids from Game Station, Run, and of course Coffee Time. The crying part is from staring at the screen too long. Oh yeah, and I'm from California, so now you can say that you have a fan from here. I hope that you like the jewelry. I made the bracelet myself. You know, the one with earth colors, so keep up the work. Love you, James. Oh man. Oh, James, that's so sweet. Oh, this one? Is this the one that you made? Oh, it's so pretty. It's all like wooden. A couple of necklaces and pictures. I'm so excited. Thank you. Dear Dodger and Ro, I hope you enjoy the cross-stitch designs I have created for each of you. It took me several days on and off to complete each, especially the one for Dodger due to the amount of color change in the lettering. I've been watching both of your channels since the start of the year, and I'm enjoying watching your videos. Yours truly, Ricky. Aww. Oh, this looks so cool. Look at this. That is like so much work. It says, Press hard to continue, copy time, TGS, and then it has a little Mega Man and a little Sherlock. This is awesome. I've tried so many times to get into cross-stitching and I'm terrible at it. I don't, I can't wrap my mind around it. I don't understand it, but this looks awesome. I can't wait to put this up somewhere. We're also gonna peek at Rose, even though it's not mine, but it's not wrapped up. So we're gonna look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Rose and Nerdy Nummies with a little cupcake. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love that. She will love that. And then a couple postcards for my ceiling fans. You the best. Thank you so much. I will make sure that she gets this. The other things I gave to her last night and she loved them. She got so excited. So I can't wait to show her that one too. Oh man, I need to find a good place for this. Well, I got a bunch of batteries in the mail. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. I've only been subscribed to you for around a week and for almost all of it, you have been sick. And I feel so sorry for you because I hate being ill. Oh. So basically I own a little clothing company for gamers called Eliga Apparel. I think that's what it's called. It's E-L-Y-G-A. And thought you might like a t-shirt to sleep in. They are super soft and comfy and I'm sending you a large so it's really big and snuggly for you. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, that is so epic. Look at that. I'm going to sleep like a prince. This is from Lloyd and I will make sure to link his store in the description so that you can check out his other clothes. Thank you so much for sending me a shirt. I will absolutely use it because it is super soft, you are correct. Oh, is this a cat? Is this a cat picture? Ah, it's a kitty! Hey, Dr. I've been a big fan for a long time and even more so when I found out that you loved cats too. I have included a DVD to entertain Sherlock, caution, may instigate pawing at TV screens, and behind this letter is a picture of Peanut, my orange tabby. Sherlock is way cool. I think you should make him in more videos and stuff. He is a big kitty. Dodger, please stay awesome from Jay. P.S. I am not a dude. Awesome! 
a lady named Jay. I've never heard that name on a lady before, but I approve. Cat Sitter DVD, featured in USA Today, The Wall Street Journal, and The Daily Show, complete with the sights and sounds of nature in stereo. The video cats love to watch. I can't wait to try this. Guaranteed feline fun or your money back? What? Thank you, Jay. I will try that DVD out and see if it works. And I'll report back to you guys, let you know whether or not he was like, what? What's happening? I mean, he does love looking at birds, so maybe it'll work. Hello, Dodger. This would be the second time that I've sent you something. The last time I sent a painting of Sherlock cats. So I got these cute mini canvases and couldn't resist. There should be three small paintings enclosed with this postcard. It's from when I visited Istanbul for the first time in the summer. And although it would be more fitting for me to send one from England or Poland, I trust that this is nice enough. I will also hopefully enclose a couple of Kinder Joys, which I think are one of the best Kinder products, of which I have 30 or so, courtesy of my gran in Poland. Just to round this off, thank you again for your brilliant videos. They really get me through the week. From Barbara. Oh, Yay! Look at these. These are so cool. Got this one of the girl from They Bleed Pixels, which is just awesome. Cute tiny one of my avatar. And then one of Navi, who I have portrayed too many times to count. And then these are the two postcards. They're gorgeous. And this apparently is a Kinder Joy. I don't know. Wait, let's see if I can figure out. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, there are two sides. What do I do? Oops. Okay, so you open up this half. Whoa, and it has an action figure in it. What? What are you? Okay, so I have a little action figure from Ice Age, and now I'm going to open up this side. There's no sound. I'm assuming this side might be. Oh, it attacked me. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. I can't wait to put these up somewhere. I know that I say that every time I get something that would go on my wall, but like seriously, I want everything to have a home, and these are so cool. Gift note from Kurt. A book about you. Well, not really, but rather a fictional backstory about Charles Dickens' character, the Artful Dodger, who I remember you mentioning was inspiration for your name. Congratulations on your success. Indeed, Kurt. What? It's by Terry Pratchett? Dodger. Aww. Fun and silly, fantastic and thoughtful, exuberant and irresistible. Pratchett's dry humor and sense of the absurd are wonderful. Non-stop wit. Pratchett is a master of juggling multiple plot lines and multiplying punchlines. Sheer, even deep magic. Pratchett's wry writ is wry writ. I'm done. I'm good. We, I think we covered it. Thank you, Kurt. I will read that on the plane early tomorrow morning. Oh. Dodger, I'm Jared. I really enjoy the show and happy Halloween. Oh, it's been so long. I hope the spy glasses work. Then no one can stop you drinking on the train or bus. I also sent a hex bug toy. The commercial is very funny. Anyway, stay happy from Jared. Peace. Got a glasses case. Apparently they are spy glasses. I can't wait. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, guys. The sides are mirrors. The sides are mirrors! When you put them on, it fades into a, it's a mirror. Guys, you can just put them on and then look to either side and see who's looking at you or who's behind you. These are awesome. Dude, they work and I'm carrying them with me forever. They're awesome. Here's the hex bug. Okay, here's the hex bug. Micro robotic creatures. Hex bug. Glows in the dark. I'm scared to open this. I feel like this, look at it. It looks like the sort of thing that's going to turn on me really quickly. Oh man, this says, do not bend everywhere on it. I'm not bending it. I ain't bending it, but it's kind of hard to get in. Just throwing that out there. And there's so many layers to this. Okay. I've had to pull three pull tabs so far. Perhaps this is the final pull tab. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, is it another one of that magazine? Wait. Wait. Hold. Okay, it says that this is from Lee, and he says, I found this magazine really helpful, and I hope that you do too. And it is, it's that anatomy magazine. Anatomy, gesture sketching, figure drawing. Oh, this is so cool. The other one is still like, it's in a package, so. Dude, look at this. There's so many details. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I can't wait to flip through this. Now that I have two, I wonder if there's somebody, oh. 
I think I know somebody else who could really benefit from having this book. Thank you so much, Lee. It's so cool to hear like that this helped you out so that I know that if I worked, I'm sure just looking at the pictures, I can tell already that if I really tried working with it, I'd be like so much better at anatomy. Read me first. I will. Please enjoy these wonderful gifts that I have bestowed upon you. The t-shirt is vintage and from Brazil. It's pretty offensive to some, so you may want to read the enclosed translation before you show it on camera. Oh. The PC game was found at a thrift store. That's why it looks like it's been sat on. <laughs> the CD is nice calming music to sleep to. And finally, the USB drive contains something that I very much hope you'll enjoy and don't already have. P.S. If you ever come out to PAX East again, I invite you and any of your friends up to New Hampshire to visit Fun Spot, the world's largest video game arcade. It's only a couple of hours drive from Boston and is definitely worth the trip. Thanks for being awesome, Stavenborn. Oh, Stavenborn. Metal! Sherlock Holmes, CD-ROM classics. Oh man, I bet that that's a gem. Here's the page that apparently has the translation on it. Oh, yeah, it's probably not something that I should, sh this is probably not something that I should ever wear in public, ever. Why are you so offensive? Here's the USB drive, so I will definitely look at that later. Thank you so much. Bonus Dalek postcard, boom. Oh yes. Oh uh, yeah. And some jammy Dodgers, that's what's up. That's what's up. And a cup, and a cup. Wait, is this a cup that has jammy Dodgers on it? Hold on guys. Oh my gosh, I might be so excited in like five seconds here. Your Dodger, enclosed, find a jammy Dodgers mug coffee soap from Spain, and some jammy dodgers. Just a little thank you for your videos helping me through exam stress. Oh, I hope things are going well for you and I'm looking forward to more epic coffee and news. Kind regards and hugs from Samuel. Tell Sherlock I say hi. Sherlock kitters, Samuel says hi. Oh no, somehow. I don't understand this when you guys wrap things really carefully and yet they still break. Oh, this is so sad. The handle to this is broken. Oh, but look at it! It's a Jammy Dodgers mug! Can it be fixed? Maybe I'll just sand off these side parts and then just use it as like a cup. Oh, but look at it! It's got Jammy Dod- I have to keep it forever. Yeah, Spain. You got the soap. You got the soap. Oh, and I'm so sad about the cup. Thank you so much, Samuel. I'm sorry that it broke in transit. Another one with no name, but it has another one with no name, but it has some sort of a glycerin moisturizer. Oh, that smells so good. What? Oh my gosh. Margo antibacterial glycerin with neem extract and glycerin moisturizer for clear and soft skin. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I don't know much. But I know that that soap smells awesome. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, this is from Amanda and she sent me the most incredible Pikachu cosplay photo ever. I don't know what's happening in this, but this person is terrifyingly awesome. Oh my gosh, this shirt is so cool. These are from Kevin. Look, it's a Firefly shirt. I'm so happy, I love this. He also sent me a House Targaryen shirt. It's fire and blood. And the PS3 Castlevania game that I actually never played, but heard that it was actually pretty good. I just didn't, I don't know. So many of them have let me down that I just didn't, I just didn't play it. Hey Dodger, since you always try organizing, I thought this would help. Awesomeness, Samantha. <laughs> this might be the funniest thing that I've gotten in a really long time. I don't know if you guys are ready for how epic this is. It's a tool belt, but for your mug. So you put it on your mug and then you can put things. <laughs> the top part in like that. And then this part you wrap around like that. And then look, you have a little tool belt for your Mug. This is so great. I can put my batteries and my hex mug and my scissors in here and then all the sides can be pens. This is so great. Can we just change the lore of how I got my name? Hi, my name is Dodger and the reason that I got that nickname was because of Jammy Dodgers and that's why my original channel also has a heart on it. There, we did it. Every time I get Jammy Dodgers, I literally just sit and eat all of them. I didn't do that this time. I only ate a few, but oh my goodness, they're so good. <laughs> Especially with coffee. Oh, they're jam-tastic. I'd like to point out 
that that uh, I'd like to point out that that's on the packaging and I didn't come up with that, nor do I think that I'm witty. Number one of six, Adventure Time presents Marceline and the Scream Queens. That's awesome. And it's already in like a protective case. So I'm just going to leave it alone. All from Brandon. So he sent me Marceline and the Scream Queens, which is awesome. Sent me a Marceline keychain, his demo, and are you ready? A coffee time shirt. Oh, and actually this is pretty awesome too. He sent me Game of Thrones sigil coasters, which I am jacked about. It's got Baratheon, Lannister, Stark, and Targaryen. The, the standard four, it makes sense. Thank you so much, Brandon. I'm glad that my show has helped you and I wish you all the best. A gift note from Mike. I hope every time you use this, you remember how much we all love and appreciate all that you do. Watching your vid is always a happy part of my day and I can't thank you enough for being the amazing person that you are. Your friend in Michigan, Mike. Oh. Oh, what is this? It's stacked, three cups in one. I love, okay, this company makes the most hilarious stuff. This is so funny. This is just so ridiculous, but awesome. And like, no matter where you set it down, you'll always have one of the little handles facing you. Dodger, I just wanted to get you something to thank you for all of your hard work and entertainment you provide. I know you have tons of mugs, so I decided to send you one that's a bit different. I hope you like it and get many years of use from it. From Boom Baddy. Awesome. It's a wood mug that has a big D on it. So cool holding this. This is just so great. Thank you, Sir Boombatty. I humbly accept your gift. Unwrap your present before opening this. Oh, it's the receipt. Hi, Dodger. I'm a fan from Canada, but when I saw this, I thought you should have a copy. So I got you one. Good luck. Have fun from Luke. I'm ready, Luke. Oh, I feel so bad. I just got one of these. This box says keep frozen. I really hope that it doesn't still have whatever needs to be frozen in there. Gosh, this is so cute. So Melissa is from Ontario and she found a tiny Tim Hortons cup. That's technically a ornament that we can put on our tree. So I will get to have a little coffee cup on my tree. I'm so excited. Have I told you guys that the cat keeps trying to eat the Christmas trees because we have two tiny ones in the living room and he is so intrigued by them. He wants to eat them. And I'm like, those are sharp. Stop trying to eat those. Uh, so this is another hex bug from Jared, but it's a Halloween themed hex bug. So it's got like a little hex bug skeleton on it. Oh, mutant zombie glows in the dark, battery powered robot. Oh, these are so cute. Too bad I'm terrified of them. Okay, so these are from Mike. He sent me some currency, and then he sent me a book called John Dies at the End, a novel. And the thing that I've only read so far is that when you look on the back, it says, stop, you should not have touched this book with your bare hands. No, don't put it down. It's too late. Now they're watching you. I was like, oh, I'm pulled in already. And this just says fragile, yo. So I'm going to very carefully open it. This is gorgeous. It's actually from Italy. Cause he said he was in Italy and wound up getting this. What? This is so cool. I'm the dottore. Oh, I think I'm wrong. I don't think that it's the dottore that has that nose. Okay, so in Commedia dell'arte, there were specific masks to denote different characters. And I thought that that was the dottore, but I think I'm wrong. Either way, this is just gorgeous. And you're right, I do love masks. So I will be sure to take good care of this. Thank you. Okay, this is from Milo. He sent a bunch of candy, sent some Tim Tams, and then sent a bunch of postcards from New Zealand. So I'm excited to go through those. And he put um, some ads from New Zealand on a CD so that I could see them, which I'm actually really excited to watch. And then he gave me a book called Earthquake in New Zealand that says the proceeds of this book go to earthquake recovery. So that's, I mean, the cover's really sad, but I bet the book is really interesting. Thank you, Milo. I'm going to tell everybody that I have Tim Tams and they are going to be so jelly. And we are on the very last package today. Okay. These are from Jonathan. He said to give Sherlock a big hug for him. I'll just scratch him because he's a little sleepy right now. But he gave me a figurine called the Weighted Companion Square. And he looks very sad. At first I was like, is he supposed to look quite that messed up? Oh yes, he is. And then I was given Strontium Dog, Search and Destroy Agent Files, number one. I've never heard of this before, but it's a graphic novel and apparently it's really good. So 
I'm excited to read it and put it on my shelf. And that's it. We did it. Thank you guys so much for everything. I hope that you are having an amazing holiday season and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Bye bye. Mwah. And some jammy Dodgers. That's what's up. That's what's up. And a cup. And a cup. That's what's up. That's what's up. And a cup. And a cup. That's what's up. That's what's up. And a cup. And a cup. That's what's up. That's what's up. And a cup. And a cup.